Ask Reddit by Candy Crystals people who always know a spot. How did you find these cool pretty locations? You live in a small country town then there are exactly four things to do. Sports. Math. Hiking driving everywhere. Or staying home. Yep. People used to ask me how I knew about cool backcountry camping spots. I'd look at maps, and drive around on old logging roads for hours with friends. Occasionally we'd stop, hike a ways back to what was supposed to be a meadow and find an amazing spot. One time I found an old plane crash. I know a guy. Does your guy also know a guy who knows a spot? They go out and try stuff while we're sitting on our butts and posting on reddit. You'd burn me so bad if I weren't posting this while on a walk lol but yeah that's the case a lot of the time haha. <laughs> Driving down every street in the county during covid and sneaking onto different roofs with my friends. That honestly sounds so freeing and fun, gonna put that on my bucket list. <laughs> my Italian father-in-law was getting too old to go himself anymore, so on the last mushrooming trip together, he finally pointed out his spot. Before that, we'd go so far, and then he'd say, you go look over there, and I will check over that next hill, and we'll meet back here. He never wanted me to know his magic spot, where he always came back with a basket of nice mushrooms. But the hike was becoming too much for him, and he knew he probably couldn't do it again next season, so on that last trip, when we got to the same general spot, he was like, hey, come with me this time, let me show you something. And sure enough, it was the sweet spot. And every year, like clockwork, I still find mushrooms there. Well. Now I'm crying. By being friends with people who I like to call social nodes those who have many friends, host many parties gatherings and connect everyone together. If you say yes to their invites enough times, you eventually end up hanging out with a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy, who recommends meeting at some amazing place in town. You try the place, you like it, you then possess the knowledge. Best advice in this thread. Never heard it phrased that way, but social nodes is great. Biking. It's the most efficient way to quickly move around while also being able to go everywhere and look around. Be willing to explore and venture out of your comfort zone. New spot in town but the menu looks a little weird. Try it. Old spot in town no one ever talks about. Try it. Heard of a cool hang spot but it's a little difficult to get to. Try it. If you aren't willing to take new chances and try you'll go to the same three spots you always go to forever. You gotta explore. It's this plain old wanderlust. We may not have big things to discover, but we can still discover spots. By exploring and trying new places. I have quite a few secret beaches and other spots. I find them by searching for interesting pullouts on Google Maps. Or through Geochiching. It's amazing the places Geochiching will take you. What do you mean interesting pullouts on Google Maps? I'd like to find some near me. I'm a geologist and I work as a consultant. I've been visiting sites in every nearby big and small town for almost 20 years. When we take a road trip I know where the cheap gas station, good taco shop, neat roadside attractions are in every area from my past experience. It's also helped me to get to know my own city so well. I know all the little neighborhoods, the unknown places to explore, the gems. Word of mouth, diverse social circles, desire to explore. I run a lot and go to new places all the time, that's how I know lots of spots. Guildford College has become a cesspool of insufferable people. But finding the potheads is your best bet to discover the glorious wood spots. A wise pothead will show you the pines, and all of the wonders of the woods behind the lake. There's an intricate trail back there. It used to be an old running trail. Public safety didn't discover all of the secret bonfire pits. Find a pothead guide and grab your bong. You're going to see beautiful trees, 
streams, and a rad deep woods bonfire haaf. Found them by chance haha. Was just wandering around and bam there was this chill spot with a dope view. Took some sick pics too. Can't wait to go back. I research a lot and go outside to explore on my own a lot. Then try to figure out who in my life would be interested in tagging along. For me, it's because I ride a bike and don't own a car. So I travel the side streets and less used roads to avoid traffic so I end up stumbling upon the stuff other folks miss because they are in their car on the main roads. Well, when you're in HS and you got a car and want to have fun with some chicks, you end up learning about a lot of great spots. The G, for example. I grew up there, so I know the spots. Will I take you there if you're visiting? Possibly. Will I make you wear a blindfold to get there? Definitely. Exploring. Trying new places. Checking out Google Maps, seeing a spot, and going there. I wondered where I shouldn't have been wandering. The last time I recommended a spot that no one knows about the reply was yeah, I work there. I'm a local guide on Google, and browse reviews of other people in my city. I also follow a lot of random indie newsletters of local spots that often do collaborations. And I like to watch some Discover City name videos too which reveal some cool spots. Go to the coolest place you know of. Make friends with the bartender and ask them to recommend a cool spot. They'll send it to a place slightly cooler than that place. Proceed until you're in John Batiste's basement drinking homebrew gin. Explore a lot of forest service roads, county roads, public lands, that kind of thing. The trouble is not finding the spot. The trouble is finding the spot again. 